Hi everyone, New England Gardening here. Just a quick video. Today's Monday, January 4th, and uh, just was curious to check up on the bees. It's about 43 degrees, so it's not exactly warm. Uh, pulled a handful of bees out of the entrance there. Closed it up a little bit more again. And was looking at the bees on the ground here. I mean, nothing unusual. I did see the drones seem to have been kicked out. But I was just looking inside. Let's take a look. Yeah, so I didn't even take the tripod out. I was already in here. Um, what I thought I would do is first off, see if I can hear bees. So I can hear bees. I don't want to go all the way to the cluster. But what I thought I would do is consolidate uh, the space. So the divider board was like over here, which was not a good idea. Um, I thought I had more bees, but um, again, I don't know the size of the cluster, but I can hear them, and I don't want to get to the cluster. These two frames here, uh, this one here is uh, filled with nectar, and the top one quarter part is capped, and this one here is just completely filled, so if these are filled with nectar and being the lane's size frames, um, I decided to go ahead and take out this feeder I had left in there with syrup. Uh, it's pretty thick, um, and maybe I fished out two dozen bees, so I don't know if they got stuck in that because of cold weather. But I decided to remove it. One thing that's a little bit concerning for me, again, this is the first time I've had the lands hive. I had this board here, this uh, top bar that I made with the screen um, that I would have on top of the feeder. So my idea was to be able to pour syrup in without disturbing the bees. <clears throat> but I have some black mold, which says that there's a humidity problem here. So this is the frame that was the first frame on the inside next to the divider board. Um, so these are the frames. So that's the concept is that these frames are just so big that the bees have enough stores on these frames to get them through the winter. Because I, I couldn't figure out how am I supposed to do winter feed on, on my bees in a land's hive. So, <clears throat> got maybe a dozen dead bees on the bottom there with uh, what I hope are not mites. But, uh, hmm, that's a wonder if those are mites. If those are mites, that's a pretty good might count there. Hmm. Do mites fall off the bees when they die? I'm not, I'm not certain what those are. I have to look under a magnifying glass. Uh, but yeah, I got this. I mean, I don't know if I have a moisture problem here with this. So maybe. Well, there's enough of a space on this divider board that I'll put the vent right next to it on the outside. Not inside, but like right there. Um, yeah, so let's, I mean, I can hear them. I, I, I can hear them and uh, I'll give you an idea what, so this frame here on the outside has got nectar in it. And then the top part here is capped. And I believe that's from me feeding them. And that one there is really, really has enough uh, stores on it. This is January, and then the next one over, that's, that's heavy. That's capped honey there. Again, Some dead bees. Um, that's just propolis I scraped off because I had 
um, Apovar strip in between two frames. I don't know, I'm curious, but I don't want to get to the cluster. All right, so I got two bees. One, two, three, four, and they're near the entrance. There's not a lot of bees on this side, but there's honey all the way. This frame is filled with honey. Um, if that's the cluster, yeah, it's not good. Uh, unless, you know, I'm not going to go farther in. Uh, this is the outside here, and it looks like this might be a frame that they easily can get from one side to the next. So I have bees on the bottom here that are dead. So let me close this up, but I do have active bees as of January 4th. So let me close this up. Oh, and they've had a ton of honey on this side too. So I'm kind of wondering if I could just isolate those other honey frames to make the compartment of the bee space even smaller. But, uh, yeah, so, oh, it comes an active one out. I better close this up. I don't want to lose more bees. So I went and grabbed some more burlap. I put it over on this side here. I've got these vent holes. Uh, they're not very big. But I thought maybe this would cut down on any draft. Or, um, add some insulation to the top of the frames there. Hi everyone, New England Gardening here. Today's Monday, January 4th. <clears throat> and I went ahead and I invested in a new vaporizer. Uh, this is the old one that I modified so I could lower, lower it uh, into the lands hive. Uh, and it requires a car battery. If I want to go over to the uh, hive. This one here is the Jerno, um, Jarno's Easy Vape. And uh, it's, uh, you just power into 110. So I just bring an extension cord over there, since I only have just a hobbyist. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm wondering, I don't have a, I, I've been meaning to get the proper ventilator mask, and I did not. So I'm wondering if I could rest this on cinder blocks in the entrance to give them a treatment of oxalic acid today. So this is just a uh, nice homemade, um, not mass produced, but individually produced by this individual. Looks nice quality. It's a temperature sensor. That comes with these silicone cups that you put your dose of oxalic acid in and then place it there on the top there. And when you hit that in there, and it's at temperature. You get your stream of oxalic paper coming out of that copper tube there. So I'm gonna see if I can get the right height, get some platform. Um, I don't know if I want to put this at the entrance or the one in the middle. All right, so I have this plugged in, and when this temperature reads 450, you take two grams of oxalic acid in this little uh, silicone cup here and ideally you have a quarter inch hole in the back of the hive there we go and you put this in upside down and then you invert it right side up and tap this uh, container and the oxalic acid will go in it'll drop the temperature but when it comes back up to 400 degrees evidently all the oxalic acid has been vaporized and uh, you're finished with that treatment but um, I sort of compacted this a little bit 
So I'm going to try to put this straight on top. Um, I hope there's no blowback. I do have this respirator that I found that uh, I don't think it's rated for this, but I'll put it on and um, quickly walk away if there's a problem or hold my breath. So it's almost at, I wonder if it's going to, it just turned off. So it's at 437. So you can hear the clicking there. Would help to have, have it in view. And it's probably scrolling. That's what I see. It might not be. That's that's the um, the display is going to show the scrolling of the the display, but the video should be correct. It should be constant. So with this temperature at about 40 degrees outside, it's oh, it is going up. So. I don't think it has to be exactly at 450 but let me go get my respirator on and uh, see if I can give them a treatment through the front there I wonder if I should try to close up Open it. All right. Uh, there's a bee returning. That's not going to be good. I'm gonna have to wait. That is the oxalic acid vapor. Hopefully, there's more going in. Well, that seems to have aggravated the bees a little bit. They look like they're coated with oxalic acid. So that actually was really quick. It went through those two grams like immediately. I thought maybe there was stuff trapped in the in the cap, but no, it was empty. So you can see they're really covered. So I hope that wasn't too disruptive. See some bees falling down there. Let me move this out of the way. Yeah, so you can see those bees are just coated. It's almost like they had the powdered sugar coating for checking for mites. Mm -hmm. 
Should open this up a little bit. Whoops. Don't sting me. So this is New England Gardening. Uh, giving a oxalic acid treatment to my bees. I still have bees and hopefully it was a good idea. Didn't disrupt them. Have them break their cluster because it's getting cold. It's two o'clock in the afternoon but it's starting to get considerably cooler or colder. So this is New England Gardening. Today's Monday, January 4th, 2021. Thanks for watching.